Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I was just gonna answer a few questions that I've been getting. First question here was how I got my seat so far down into that seat tube there. Well, actually, I swapped this out with a dropper post, and if you wanted to just fit your original seat in there, you're going to have to cut it off. You can kind of see this right here gets a little bend in the frame. So you're gonna have to trim your seat posts to like just hold it up alongside here and just trim it so once you get to this corner down here you have enough room so your seat will your seat will drop all the way down there or you can upgrade to a dropper seat post like I did on this one and that will help you in your riding too because that will drop the seat out of the way you don't have to adjust it before your trail pop the seat up or push the seat down it's way faster on the trail so that has been a great upgrade but if you don't want to do that you're going to have to cut your seat post off to fit it in there. Another question is, do we ride 27 and a half or 29ers? Most of us are six foot riders that I ride with. So we're actually, we are riding 27 and a half inch. I came from a 29 inch bike and that rolls over the bumps a lot easier but I feel like the 27 and a half is a little more nimble in some ways. You can always take the tubes out, check out this video for that, but just having 27 and a half I think even though it doesn't roll maybe as well as a 29, it feels a lot lighter and more nimble with less tire rubber on there. Another question we had was if we taped the rims or not. We didn't tape the rims on these bikes when we pulled the tubes out. They are tubeless ready, so you can just pull the tubes out and get out there on the trail. All right, guys, well, I hope that answers your questions here on the 2022 Scout. If you've got any more, can leave them down in the comments below. I'll try to see if I can answer them the best I can. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video.